If you think the universe in its early days was a calm, empty void, slowly building up galaxies like a child stacking Lego blocks, think again. In reality, some of those ancient galaxies were already cosmic heavyweights, bigger, faster, and more complex than ours today. That's like finding out a baby was born taller than its own parents. It's becoming almost routine now. Every few months, astronomers gather around glowing screens, their voices tinged with disbelief, as the Webb telescope sends back yet another curveball from deep space. And this time, Webb has spotted a galactic giant that flat out defies the textbooks. Imagine looking back to a time and the universe was still a toddler, barely a few billion years old, and seeing a galaxy 10 times more massive than the Milky Way is now. How is that even possible? That's the question shaking up astrophysics all over again. Before we dive into the mystery, picture this. Webb's latest images sweep across the screen, revealing colossal, luminous structures swirling in the dark void like dancers on a stage older than time itself. But not all of these cosmic performers are the same. Astronomers categorize galaxies into three main families, elliptical, irregular, and spiral. Our own Milky Way is part of the spiral clan, but it's got a special twist. It's a barred spiral galaxy. Its arms anchored to a bright straight bar that runs through its core. That bar isn't just for show, it's a supply highway, funneling streams of gas into the galaxy's heart, fueling the birth of new stars. But here's the kicker. Barred spiral galaxies don't form overnight. They take time, maturing over billions of years, which is why scientists used to think they were a relatively recent feature of the universe. <laughs> Turns out they were wrong. Two years ago, Webb shattered that assumption, revealing barred spirals existed 10 to 11 billion years ago. Then came the bombshell, Series 2112, a Milky Way look-alike born just 2.6 billion years after the Big Bang. Now, add another jaw-dropper to the list, a newly discovered monster named J0107A. J0107A isn't the oldest barred spiral ever found, but it's a titan in every other sense. At 11.1 .1 billion years old, it's forming stars at 300 times the rate of our Milky Way, and it's 10 times more massive. Led by Shuo Huang of the National Astronomical Observatory of Japan, the team realized this wasn't just another ancient galaxy. It's the most massive barred galaxy of its time, rivaling and even surpassing the biggest ones in the modern universe. And the real head scratcher? Its level of development. A fully formed bar at such an early era is like finding a skyscraper in the middle of a Stone Age village. J0107A is the most distant and massive galaxy with a fully developed bar, Huang's team announced. The discovery, made possible by Webb's piercing infrared vision and Alma's powerful radio data from Chile, now forces astronomers to reconsider how galaxies grow, evolve, and, apparently, break all the rules we thought they followed. If Webb gave us the face of J0107A, then Alma, the Atacama Large Millimeter Slash Submillimeter Array in Chile gave us its heartbeat. By tracking the faint signals of cold gas, Alma revealed the galaxy's inner workings in astonishing detail. The data didn't just confirm the presence of the bar, it exposed what that bar was doing, funneling colossal rivers of gas from the galaxy's outskirts into its core at breakneck speed. How fast? Try to picture 579 suns worth of gas pouring in every single year. For perspective, barred spirals in our cosmic neighborhood manage a humble trickle of 0.01 to maybe 50 solar masses annually. This was a raging torrent. No wonder researchers now think that early universe bars behaved far more wildly than their present day descendants. More like reckless expressways than calm highways. That frenzy of inflowing gas explains another shocker. J0107A's blistering star formation rate of 500 solar masses per year, a stellar nursery on overdrive. But the gas highway wasn't just feeding stars, it may also have been supercharging the monster lurking at the galaxy's heart, a supermassive black hole. The idea that so much gas could be funneled in so early, so efficiently, forces us to face a humbling truth. We simply don't know how this is possible. 
In so many ways, this galaxy flips our expectations upside down. Start with its sheer mass and fully developed bar, both obliterating the notion that such structures only emerge after leisurely cosmic aging. Then comes the real kicker, its composition. That bar is made of 70% gas and just 30% stars. By all accounts, that's an astronomical impossibility. Astrophysicist Diane Fisher of Swinburne University of Technology summed it up bluntly. According to current models, the gas-rich environment of early galaxies should have prevented bars from forming. Yet, here we are, staring at an early barred spiral with gas dynamics straight out of a rule-breaking manual. This one finding doesn't just tweak our galaxy formation theories, it rips a page out and scribbles over it. And maybe that's the bigger lesson. Time and again, Webb reminds us how little we truly know about galaxy evolution, and how every confirmed model holds up only until the universe throws us a contradiction. Yet even amid the confusion, there's beauty. An overwhelming, humbling beauty. Because beyond these rule-defying giants, Webb's eyes also gift us something timeless. The universe in its most dazzling attire. In recent months, it's captured cosmic structures so strange and lovely, they leave even seasoned astronomers silent. Take the planetary nebula NGC 1514. Webb released its portrait just in time for Easter, and at first glance, it looks like a pair of shimmering cosmic eggs nestled in the dark. But don't be fooled. Planetary nebulae have nothing to do with planets. The name is an 18th century misunderstanding, back when they resembled Uranus through primitive telescopes. In truth, this is the ghost of a dying star. After swelling into a red giant and casting off its outer layers, the star's core collapsed into a white dwarf. The leftover radiation now illuminates the drifting clouds of gas in glowing, surreal colors. Thanks to Webb's MIRI instrument, NGC 1514, 1500 light years away in the constellation Taurus, can now be seen not as a blurry smudge, but in jaw-dropping clarity. At its heart lie two stars that appear as one in the image. One of them, once more massive than our sun, likely shaped the nebula's dramatic structure, a final flourish in a star's life now preserved forever in light. But for all its beauty, NGC 1514 is a fleeting jewel. It took more than 4,000 years to form, yet in just a few thousand more, it will vanish back into the dark. To us, that span feels almost eternal, but to the universe, it's nothing, barely the blink of a cosmic eye. A similar sense of impermanence surrounds another web masterpiece, Herbig Haro 4950. These aren't the swan songs of dying stars like planetary nebulae. They're the fiery signatures of stellar youth. In their infancy, stars must feed greedily, pulling in vast amounts of matter to grow. Yet, at the same time, they spit part of it back out in straight, powerful jets. Those jets can stretch for light years, and when they slam into denser clouds of gas, the collisions spark shockwaves that heat dust and gas to blistering temperatures. When they cool again, the result is spectacular. Vast, spiraling structures that look like cosmic tornadoes. Webb's image of HH4950, stitched together from near and mid-infrared views, reveals one such vortex about 630 light years away in the constellation Chameleon. At its heart lies a star barely tens of thousands to a million years old, still in the perfect stage for rapid growth. But hidden within the scene are surprises even more intriguing. Perched at the tip of the orange-red tornado is a bright blue spiral galaxy, invisible in earlier images and once dismissed as a faint blur. And elsewhere in Webb's field of view, we meet a stellar drama much closer to home. For tens of thousands of years, these stellar siblings have hurled material into space in twin cones of glowing gas, creating what looks like a pair of burning torches in the dark. Webb's near-infrared camera caught every detail, the fiery orange arc sweeping up to the upper left, formed by a shock front where ejected matter slams into denser gas. 
and the bright purple columns to the right, dense enough to resist the fierce stellar winds. At the center, hidden behind a single pixel's worth of dust, the stars themselves slumber, their flames stretching outward on both sides. Fast forward millions of years and they'll grow to match the mass of our sun. By then, they'll be surrounded not by turbulent gas, but by calm, rotating disks of dust. Perfect nurseries for planets. And who knows? On one of those worlds, life might someday look back into the sky and wonder how it all began. That's the gift Webb gives us. Not just answers, but glimpses of futures and pasts we could never see on our own. And in doing so, it reminds us that the universe isn't a static picture. It's a living story, with chapters written in starlight, gas, and time itself. If you've enjoyed this journey through the cosmos, imagine where the next one will take us. 